So we've got the stump grinder on Johnny too. We've got an old ash stump down here they want to grind off. So we're going to give Sam or maybe Sam and Russ a chance to use the Bomalite 1P24. It looks to me like we need to saw a bit of that stump off or else we'll be grinding the rest of the afternoon. Okay, you don't want to be on the downhill side. It'll be annoying to you. Probably about right in here somewhere. You'll figure it out. It'll, it'll take a little lesson, but you'll figure it out. Probably won't want to take that much bite. So, do I need to go up or down? Probably up a little bit. Okay. And of course, when you're running, you'll want to run wide open throttle. Okay. Uh, once you're running. And then you'll have to decide whether it works best to take it from the side or from the middle, I, you know. Okay. Usually we kind of start from one side and work our way across. So how does that best feel right now? Give it a try. Okay. I don't know. It depends on the stump. Okay. After Sam started, I realized I probably needed to provide a bit more education. Typically, I start the grinding process and let the student sort of learn and just watch what I'm doing to, to see how rough you can be on the machine. In this case, I went ahead and let Sam start. I think he was nervous about breaking it. 83 more times and you'll have it. So burning it out might be a little faster, huh? But right after someone gets on and gets started, it's kind of demeaning to say, oh, here, let me show you how it's done. So let's watch together as Sam learns on his own just how aggressive he should be with this grinder. I mean, it could be a little faster than this. I mean, this is his first time trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some stumps seem to get softer after they've been dead a little while. These ash stumps sometimes seem to get really hard. This is one of those. It's going to shake. Don't worry about it. There's only two made with this design, this, this 540 RPM design. The higher end versions for tractors uh, have a swing arm. So you park the tractor and you hydraulically swing the arm back and forth. And they, they have a gearbox where they uh, spin the, the rotor faster. So that's going to do a better, a, a quicker job. This is inexpensive, see, because it doesn't have doesn't have any gearbox. It doesn't have very many moving parts. Oh yeah, that's a direct drive almost. Yeah, it is direct drive. There is a slip clutch, but that's the only thing other than direct drive. So what's that? What's this little dude cost? Twenty-four sixty-nine shipped to your house shopgreendealer.com slash TTWT if you use code TTWT uh -huh. for 5% off. I mean, there's a lot of faster ways to grind a stump, but well, this way like you can have your own horizontally or something? Or, well, I don't know. You, you may be thinking of a diamond tree cutter. I'm not sure. I've seen ones in rental yards and they usually have a thing, but... It has a blade that goes like that too, right? Yeah, it does. I should have started and given him a little example of, rather than putting him on it without having seen it before. That wasn't fair of me. You know, ash is pretty hard wood, so... Do it a second to show us, like just to show oh, what, what the I'll try it. Recommended. Let me try it. I didn't realize you could go that fast with it. I just didn't want to break it. And that's what I, that was my main goal.
least at only one inch at a time. But that happens a lot. I have a headache. If you don't, if you oh, don't yeah, mind, yeah, go I'll ahead. I'll get back going. on there, Tim. Sorry. Across, just come back over here, start in going deep. Okay. Right. Okay. You couldn't go deeper because of that black flap over there. Yeah. You couldn't do it all in one shot. But yeah, you're you're doing fine. It's going faster now, I think. Yeah. Well, I wasn't totally sure how careful I needed to be with it, but when yeah, I you saw you, you were kind of just going at it. Let it, let it go after it. Don't okay. Worry about it. <laughs> it was a really hot day, mid to high 90s, and. For some reason, I just got the feeling where I'd got too hot. So I had to slip off to the house and spend a few minutes in the air conditioning. This happened one other time this summer. I'm not sure what's going on with me. I signed up for a stress test at the hospital just to make sure it wasn't my heart. Folks told me it would be a treadmill, but when I got into the room there, they just had two TV monitors set up. One of them was showing Kubota commercials and the other one was showing CNN. Didn't take but a minute, my blood pressure went crazy. No, seriously, it was a treadmill test, just like you would expect, and I didn't have any issue at all. I felt good while I was doing it, and passed it with flying colors. Uh, of course, it was cool there in the office. I think if I had had it done that at 95 degrees, that would have been a little more difficult. Hey, Dad. You want to try it? I think I think we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's probably more there than you think. All that sawdust gets on top of it, and it looks like mm -hmm. you've ground a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad, when you go, you know, take it all the way out, because uh, there's still some roots down in here. if all that would burn or not. It doesn't harm the thing at all to run it in the dirt. Oh, good. Like, Tim will dig a trench with it on this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it, it won't hurt it. As long as you don't try to pull too much at one time, but yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think any of those roots are high enough anymore that we would hit them, at least on this side. Take it over and drag it through that other side pretty deep. Because I think there's still some roots over there on the other side of the whole uh, circle. I like this video because we get to see how first timers handle the grinder in a really difficult stump. As you can imagine, when Christy and I are talking with folks, we're often talking about tractor projects. And we find that nearly everyone has a stump they need ground. Until this inexpensive design, at least relative to other grinders, came out, I never even considered getting a stump grinder. Mm -hmm. But now that we've got it, we found we can use it all the time. I just want to make sure we get most of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we got it, Christian. Yeah. We could probably stand for a pass along yeah. this oh, this area right here. Yeah, a couple passes. <clears throat> I didn't think Christy was satisfied with this. She's going to get on there and show them how it's done. It does take some extra time to get it ground down below the ground level. It seems to me like if you're going to invest the time to grind it, you might as well get it low enough that you never have to worry about it again, and you can get a good stand of grass over the top of it. 
There's often a debate as to whether you should use a backhoe to dig it out or just use a grinder and grind it out like this. If you watch some of our early episodes, I was always a strong proponent of digging them out with the backhoe. Digging them out has one big advantage, and that is you get rid of the entire stump. You'll have no worries about finding pieces of it or roots in the future. You just get it all out of there, and it's all done. But there are several disadvantages, too. First, it would have taken close to half a day to dig out that particular stump with this size tractor and backhoe. Secondly, you leave a large area disturbed. Third, and finally, is you're left with a huge stump and root wad to deal with. In some situations, that's the most difficult part of the entire project. So even though it leaves some of the root system and a little bit of the stump under the ground, I've come to the conclusion that grinding them out is probably the best solution for most yards. There are definitely exceptions. Maybe you need to have a building foundation there, or maybe it's gonna be used for farming and you need to do deeper tillage. There you have it, folks. It's so easy, a girl can do it. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, <laughs> That was Tim Marks that said that. <laughs> T-I-M-M-A-R-K-S. Turn your back for just a minute and somebody will frame well, you. Well, we ground stops. Where ground do we stops? ground one stop? We ground one stop. So you had never seen any sort of a stump grinder work? I have not. Until this one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it was slower than you expected? A little slower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just thought it was going to... But yeah. And how was that, that again? It takes, takes a lot of time. I, I can only do it once. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam did most of the work, right? Sam did you did, ever get to try it? Work. I did try it, yeah. Once the stump was already gone. And then Christy actually finished it off. Yeah. Christy so you guys didn't do it to suit her then? Yeah, she was like, that's kind of good, but let me show you how to do it. And then she took <laughs> yeah. I wanted to make sure it was all ground down. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Hey, that's two projects we've done here, and I mean, this has been an incredible visit. Uh, the property is amazing. We're 100 acres of just, a, a, it's an amusement park for tractor people. Yeah, that's what yes, I want to call it. Yes. Or hunters, or any sort of outdoor people. Yes. It's managed for quail and deer and teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting combination. <laughs> no, seriously, Ross and Sam, we really appreciate you having us out. Well, well, we really appreciate time. you guys' help yeah. with all the so, projects. Yeah. 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 This couldn't, have done it, couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> great team equipment, too. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim.